Bio mechanics, you can say it's biology and mechanics. Biology is proprioception, pain, stretch, reflexes, healing processes. And mechanics, <coughs> mechanics is movements, force, elasticity, shock absorption, mechanical advantage, strength and coordination. Right? So since we deal with lots of mechanical components in pathology, the biology will have to be assisted by mechanics, which is physiotherapy. Fine. Like, uh, okay, we can just, uh, this is what Dr. Mamtara spoke. It's not uh, suppressive, but synergistic to homeopathic treatment. Fine. Like, uh, see, in physiotherapy, there are two aspects mainly. The electrotherapy, we can say, and the uh, exercise therapy. Electrotherapy will consist of all these electrical modalities which you must have heard like shortwave diatomy, infrared sometimes, wax bath, ultrasound, all those is electro part. And the exercise therapy mainly is about stretching, strengthening, posture, all this exercise therapy. Right? Now this is about the shortwave diatomy machine and it's moved in the circulatory form, it's held in contact with the tissues. Right? Usually it's given for 10 minutes and as I told you it's for 10 days. Like uh, the the what gel what we use here is a regular aquasonic gel. It doesn't have any medicine inside. It's just for conduction of the waves. These ultrasound waves are the same what which are used in the ultrasonography. The same kind of waves used there for the therapeutic purpose. So basically there are no contraindications except for that the area should be clear. I mean there should not be any laceration, no cut like that. It apart from the this thing uh, in the injury, it can also be used to break the adhesion. Because of, as I told you, it gives the, the uh, micro massage effect. So, because of that effect, the deep seated adhesions are broken out. Right? So, this is an ultrasound machine. Fine. Now uh, this is in between it. Uh, we have recorded about the exercise uh, part of exercise therapy. I am discussing. This is a very new concept called as McKenzie concept for pain relief. If you have heard of, uh, it basically it aims at uh, correcting the posture and achieving the full range of motion at the joints and hence get the pain relief. Right? Like uh, <coughs> fine. We'll come to it later. Right now, let's see. Now, right now, what she is fixing is IFT. It's called IFT, which is interferential current therapy. Right? It has got this electrodes, which we fix again uh, with the tape. And the, again, the passing medium is, uh, as I told you, it's a quasonic gel. And uh, it gives a very high frequency uh, stimulations. And uh, because of that, there is a palliative effect on the nerves. This is especially useful in the cases like RSD. Reflex empathetic is dystrophy if you have heard of. It basically stimulates your nerve endings and it breaks the pain cycle. Right? So, this here you can see she is uh, applying this. And with after IFT, usually the pain relief lasts for about 4 5 hours. It's so effective. All the patients who are admitted here, I mean, at our hospital with the sleepless problem, they give them IFT. Because it really produces very good analgesic. I mean, it's not analgesic, but it soothes the now you can say and the, for at least 4-5 uh, hours patient is pain free right but only thing what you have to be careful about here is that you should not uh, do lot many things because you don't have pain like the patient is when the patient is put on bed rest there is a definite mechanical component inside the disc is already out though there is pain relief it doesn't mean that he is cured so we really have to make it very clear <coughs> to the patient that this will give you pain relief but it is it's not uh, it's not healing it's just the pain, it's like a local painkiller, right? Again, it's a, you know, like a, it's a computerized and we have all set uh, like uh, for different uh, settings for myalgia, for tendinitis, for arthritis, everything. Like this is receiving ultrasound, Dr. Mantura. Yeah, 
Uh, this is the short wave diathermy was what I was talking about. Uh, you can see these two pads and here is the machine. The patient is supposed to, uh, the area to be triggered is, I mean, uh, either we can keep it parallel like this or we can keep it across the area to be treated. The, when you keep it across, the whole area is kind of treated. As I told you, there are deep tissues, right? In the joint level, there is increased circulation, right? So this is how uh, the patient lies down with the diathermy. The contraindication for diathermy will be like a patient with a very severe diabetes. In that we should have a very, because usually the microcirculation is affected in diabetes. So we have to give it, even if we give, we have to give it with lots of caution. It may give, sometimes it may give burns. If the patient is a failure, the patient doesn't report the increase, the heating, then they may end up with burns. Yeah, this is the, again the pendular exercises given for frozen shoulders, right? This, uh, there is a pulley system, up, like the, it's basically called active assisted mode of exercising. These are therabels, which are used for uh, resistive exercises. This red thing, what you see. This is the rope and the grill system, which we use for different kind of stretches. Again, it will be explained here afterwards. Sorry for this clip, which has come ulta. Yeah. Yeah. So... She is demonstrating how we use TheraBand for exercises. <coughs> for all the resistive exercises it's used, it's much better than the usual old thing of uh, sandbag, which you must have heard of before. The patient put the sandbag and is doing the exercises. In that, the resistance is given in not a very even form. Whereas TheraBand gives you a very smooth resistance throughout the range of motion. And there are uh, like available in different strengths, right from a very uh, from yellow to the black. Is yellow is the minimum strength. Then goes red, then blue, then black, like that. Hmm? This is a, uh, as I told you, we use this rope and grill system to get different kind of stretches. Now, when you think of the patient having this kind of posture, right? Only exercising like this will not uh, get him out of the posture. There has to be a sustained stretch, right? And when the patient does exercise by himself, you, okay, the patient has got this. You tell him, okay, do like this. Do. How much will the patient do it? And even doing like this for a few seconds will not remove those adhesions at the capsular level, at the joint level, at the muscle level. So this kind of, um, how it was shown is we tie the belt and the patient is held in this portion <coughs> for at least 5 minutes. The patient is stay, staying there. So the sustained stretch which is achieved gives you the effect at the joint at the tissue level. It actually opens up your tissues. And then slowly when it's done daily, then they uh, get the correction of posture. <coughs> These are different equipments what we use for balance. Like uh, this is a bed, this is, this is a regular Dunlop, right? The patient is supposed to stand on that and do a marching kind of thing or a few proprioceptive exercises which stimulates the proprioception, right? This is a balance board. Again, all these are very useful after ankle sprain or any even up nowadays we say even in the osteoarthritis, right? The first, uh, when we say there is a quadriceps degeneration, usually that, that's because your uh, nervous, your uh, pyramidal tracts and your proprioceptive channel is becoming, dege it is degenerating and because of that, it reflects on the muscle and then muscle show is, is showing, that they, they say that vastus media is the first one to degenerate and that's why we give them this terminal extension as exercise, right? So the reason for that to start is the degeneration of, at your nervous level. So that's how proprioceptive exercises they are given early in the case then you can always uh, delay this uh, process of degeneration. It's going to happen, but you can always delay. This is the way the patients are trained for balance. This is again for calf stretching. There is a kind of block. <coughs> 